<clears throat> hey there, so um, talking about Meatloaf's um, debut album came out in um, October 21st of uh, 1977. There it is. It's called Bad Out of Hell. It came out, so it was recorded from um, I'd say 75 76, but it came out in October of. Uh, 21st of uh, 1977 so this song here has the uh, you know, the first song is the title of the album um, and the song is um, 9 minutes and 49 seconds which um, is crazy like it kind of goes fast and it has a solo when it starts off but it's it's amazing um but yeah it's um it's a long long song and um you can see um and perform that if i'm not mistaken i don't know if it's that there's a music video for for that song for the very for you know for the title of this album <clears throat> there's um music video for that and um yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a great album, it's a debut album, and um, then he did the song after that was "You Took the Words Right Out of My Mouth," Hot Summer Night, and um, that's another great song, and I believe there's a music video for that as well. And then um, there's kind of like a slow after that, kind of like a slow song um, called. Heaven Can Wait, um, then after that it's all wrapped up with No Place to Go, that's a great song, I believe there's a, I don't know, that's a really great song, and then um, after that is another great, great song is um, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, which that's, that's a, another um, great song, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, and um, but yeah, that's you can. There's also, I believe, there's a music video for that as well, if I'm not mistaken. And that's that's another great song. And then um, Paradise by the Dashboard Light, which is um, eight minutes and twenty eight seconds. And that's another long, long song. And then um, the last song ends off with um, for crying out loud. 8.44, uh, which, um, that's another, another long song, so out of all these songs, there's like one, two, three long songs, like 9.49, the title of the album, that's the first song that's, that you hear on it, and then, um, Paradise by the Dashboard Light, so which is 8.28, and for crying out loud, is, um, 8.44, so there's, shortest song on this album is four minutes and 17 seconds but yeah there's only seven songs as you can see if you can see that and um but yeah this is a great 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 album really good and um but yeah the the i think if i'm not mistaken on this album here. I think um yeah, Todd Rundgren um plays I think the guitars you know on on this and also backing vocals and I and I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken I think he also um I think he produced this this album as well. They did quite a bit of albums like that's even in you know in the seventies and eighties even the and he was still in and he also was making albums as well but um yeah so um that's the back of the but yeah so um because this um this album here was you know the debut album <clears throat> and like I said I think he made it from. Uh, they recording started recording about 75 76 something like that and um it came out in 77 but um yeah um and even before that i think he um 
he um, played on um, the year before that Ted Nugent's album before the year before this. But um, yeah, so you know, like the the cover of the album is like the you know it's it's crazy on you know like something to do with like kind of like Halloween because it's you know like I say came out in October of uh, 1977. But um, this one here, I'll say here, this the debut album. I have to say this here is um, I would have to say probably the one of the best debut albums. And you know, this is you know a great for a debut album. I have to say it's it's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, like I said, seven songs on it, and out of all those seven songs, there's one, two. Four music videos, I believe, for for that. And if I'm not mistaken, on um, one of my videos, um, called Essential, no, not a, um, my music DVD collection. There's, I forget which one it is. One of them, um, can't remember which one, but um, either part one. I think there's five parts, or anyone. It's um, one of them. I have a meatloaf, um, meatloaf concert of him, of them playing at the, what was it, um, Rock, Rock Plast, R-O-C-P-L-A-S-T-S, 78, which they played songs off the, um, off the album, and, um, off this album, and, uh, but yeah, this album here is, you know, Amazing, you know, great album for a debut album. Like, there's not many albums that I think of that their first album is like, you know, really, really good. There's some, but not many. You know, usually it takes a couple albums. But um, anyways, um, yeah, like I said, there's seven songs on you know the title of the album. Then um, you took the words like, right out of my mouth, hot summer night, having can't wait, all ripped up with no place to go. Uh, two out of three in bed, Paradise by the Dashboard Light, and to finish it off is uh, For Crying Out Loud. And there's the... Oh. There's the uh, CD there. And the, um, just set the, the back of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, I think um, Todd Rundgren produced, yes, it says here, if you can read that here, produced by, by um, Todd Rundgren, <clears throat> which he, in the 70s as well, I think, had quite a few, you know, had quite a few albums out as well, and, um, yeah, he had quite a few albums out as well, and, um, Anyways, yeah, so I guess, yeah, he he also produced albums as well. I didn't know that, you know. But, um, yeah, so anyways, um, put a thumbs up on this video if you like it. And um, comment down below and um, tell me what you think of this um, album review. And um, thank you for watching and make sure to comment, to, you know, like I said, comment down below. Put a thumbs up and um, and please subscribe. And um, also, I have um, Essential Classic Rock Vinyl Records. Um, I have um, album reviews of Bob Seger. Trying to think who else. So many other different artists. And um, I have uh, portrait artwork. Uh, oh, if you like, um, say you like um, Chicago, the rock band Chicago, I have um, I have um, album reviews from their very first album called the Ch uh, Chicago Transit Authority. This is just studio albums until their 1979 um, Chicago. I think it was 13, which was their. 13th album all 
all together. You've include the two, even including the um, because I don't the two live ones, but I was doing just the studio ones. But anyways, um, yeah. So um, thank you for watching, and uh, bye.